This is Blake, the Gaming GZ, and I'm back with Season 3, Game 2. This dude, you know, he's like an 86 overall team, and then a random 99 Gene Upshaw, which I... Why? I don't know, maybe 90? I, maybe I'm wrong, I don't remember. It's been a little bit. Here we go. We, we finally are in the Packers jerseys, by the way. We were in the last couple games, but it, it still bugs me that the game's like, you're going to be a Steel jersey in this playoff game, you're going to lose, so you can go in Packers jerseys. We love you. We love fucking with you, Blake. We love fucking with you. But okay, here we, we just gotta win. We gotta go two and zero in this season. We gotta pretend that we didn't freeze in the playoffs because that, that's a horrible ending. I hate it. And man, I, after what you know, watching me cut up these videos and do these videos again, put an audio over them, I realize how much I abuse fucking Antonio Brown. He gets like nailed every other fucking play. Going for going for it on fourth and two already because it's fourth and two. Who the fuck doesn't go for it at fourth and two and fucking all Madden Ultimate Team? You can't get two yards in a play, you kind of have issues at this point. But here you go. And we're doing it again, throwing it. That could have been picked. I, I don't know what the hell this guy was doing. If he wouldn't have dived, I think he could have picked that. But I'll, I'll take random dives. I, I love him. I mean, he, he can hail to the king of Dwayne Bow catching. I, I, I really like it. And, wow, that's really good blocking for that touchdown. I didn't notice that, but uh, here we go. He loves this three tight end formation, which is something apparently a lot of people love. I don't understand why you have wide receivers on your team if you love it so much. And uh, there, I just frankly got lucky. I started using Tremont Williams and forgot to run with him. And it just bounced off this dude's face, and thanks to that, he threw a short pass like that straight to Paul Warlow. 80 overall rising star Paul Warlow is apparently the best middle linebacker you all need. Why do you have anyone else? Seriously, just get a Paul Warlow. Here, here we go. He's just, you know, all, spotted 14 points already. 14 nothing. This guy's got nothing on us right now. We can use this game to get four packs, hopefully get an upgrade. This is the goal now, is to run it up or get it, score one more and get him to quit. And as I said, he loves this three tight end formation and he runs this street play a lot. I don't Whatever. But Teron Williams, he's all over that. I don't know why he's so good on those street plays. Maybe I should put him on like my team next year and just have him permanent killer awesomeness, dude. Here's Tyron Matthew just picking the ball off. This dude does not have many decisions. If you stop those couple plays he's running and can't, he can't throw it deep, he doesn't really know what to do. There's a lot of people in Madden, but unfortunately, if you have a Calvin or something, if you throw it deep, you're fine. And Giovanni Bernard juking out, spinning out people, getting like 25 yards, going downfield. And it's it's still the second quarter. It's like 30 seconds into the second quarter. I'm destroying this poor dude. I'm thinking right there, I might have been able to outrun that guy and I would have been cooler. I should have tried. It's not like it really matters. These guys getting destroyed. It's like, no chance. You can't beat Aaron Rodgers in a Packers jersey without the help of lagging out. You can't do that. It's not physically possible. I mean, you, you have to, like... You'd have to hire a sniper to assassinate Aaron Rodgers to beat the Packers in Lambeau Field at this point. Here we go. And here he is in the same formation, running one of the three plays he knows how to run, but this time doesn't throw a pick. So he's improving. We have to give him some credit. He didn't throw a pick. And here he is, almost threw a pick, should have been picked. Paul Warlow was all over that shit. Basically, all I had to do for this dude was play underneath, and uh, he, he was pretty much screwed. And then when I saw him throwing deep, I just used a Tron Williams and tip it. And that's basically it. So fourth and four, will he get it? Basically game over at this point. And he barely got it with that drag. I think he hot routed it too. Never really switched for it. Hey, 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 he's a different formation. I just noticed. I don't know who the halfback is. Number 22, I can only think of Emmett Smith. And that's not Emmett Smith. If it is, it's like that free 87 overall you got from buying the game like on a Christmas version or something like that. Here he is, trucking it deep again, expecting it to work after it didn't multiple other times. It's Tremont Williams again destroying Alshon Jeffrey. Who needs good corners? I have Tremont Williams. And Sean Smith, actually. Sean Smith's a guy. I, like, you don't need other corners than Sean Smith. He uh, he legitimately plays like just any elite corner that we had. He should have caught that, but whatever. Who cares? Fourth and nine. Here he is in, in one of his formations again, doing play action. And I'm like, oh, he's probably going to do play action, so I should probably rush too many people. And I sacked him. It's like I knew what he was going to do because he did it 87 times before in the game. Strange how I know things like that. Clear, less than a minute left in the half. Might as well try to score again. Maybe he'll quit and the game will be over faster. Less game there is, less for me to edit and the happier I am. I'm just, just being extremely honest about that. But here's me throwing a pick like a numbskull, make, giving him hope. And hope means I have to edit more. So here he is, just chucking it up again. And Tremont Williams saying, fuck that crap, who cares? You think I'm going to give up after the... He, he's literally done that like 12 times. And just Tremont Williams does not care. Like, why would you keep trying? Because that, that's why. 
Madden doesn't care. It's going to go eventually. That deep ball is going to be completed on you, Blake. Why, why you can't trust Tremont Williams every single play, but I can. Trust, I think there's three people there, dude. What are you doing? Here's the next half. I, I just wanted to show you how many times he literally bombed it deep on that same play. It's freaking annoying. It's not even a good bomb at deep, deep play if it doesn't work on Tremont freaking Williams. He's not even tall. Here he is throwing it at my guys again, and my guy liked to, uh, you know, he punched it. He's practicing his punch ability in midair flight. Uh, he's practicing some of his boxing skills, and here's Tremont Williams again with the tip. I think the title of this video is going to be Tremont Williams getting the tip all the time, all the way. Tipping it. Sex jokes are fun. Don't judge me. Fourth and ten again, and will he get it? Who knows? Who, who, who really cares, frankly? And we stopped him. Guess what that means? We're going to win. Now, if you couldn't tell from before, we're, we're, we're going to win. It's, it's just by, can we get four packs or three packs? <laughs> My limit is four packs, just in case you guys don't know that, because I'm not a rich son of a bitch. And they injured Aaron Rodgers. This is treason. You must die. Get Dwayne Bode. Good Dwayne Bode. See, that is how you properly throw deep. By face catching with a tall receiver over shorter corner with Colin Kaepernick. Because you injured Aaron Rodgers. You evil sack of shit. And there's me fucking up Sean Williams. I'm giving him hope again, which is bad. He's had to edit more. This, this part of the game probably wouldn't have been here if I didn't do that. And here's Tremont Williams going, hey, I missed, but, you know, I'm just messing with you. I, I, I'll pick it up this time. So start the third off. Basically no hope. Uh, considering cutting, cutting the last half of the game out and decided against it. I feel like that's disrespectful. But it's, if this guy watches my videos, um, I'm disrespecting you. Sorry. Fourth and two. I feel like at the 275 subscriber count, I'm still I'm still pretty safe in assuming that these people don't know who the fuck I am that I am playing. And just you know, basically running out the clock because why would I do anything else? So, so let's let's talk about some current events here. Uh, Yesterday, I did my giveaway winner video for Aaron Rodgers, and I, I did it so the fifth guy that I randomly chose was selected to win the card. And there's four really pissed people. I don't think I should ever do that again. <laughs> the guy that was choked, like the first random comment generated, he's like really pissed at me. <laughs> I feel kind of bad because I'm an asshole. But yeah, I don't know. I'm also thinking that like Tim Tebow, he's gonna be like a two-point specialist, and that's the only reason the Eagles signed him because they're playing on for like proposing that rule. And I was thinking like maybe Brent Hundley for the Packers would be like their two-point specialist after a little bit because he can run read options from UCLA. Apparently, I forgot to cut out between that play. It'll be okay. I I'm sure you'll all make it. I'll live. I made it. Like, like, see, I survived. It, it was okay. Here's Giovanni Bernard getting slammed in the backfield because we have no run game. Uh, yeah, I really want elite, more elite offensive line. That's something that would really help this team out, actually. Take him to the next level and maybe an elite halfback. Something I really, really would just like. Because Giovanni Bernard actually has really good stats. Like, I compared him to a couple other guys that I was just, like, I'd want to get. Like, I, I was looking at all the season's veterans because I'm really close to getting those. Because uh, I was... Needed two more, or it might have been one more at the end of the last playoff run when I lost. And, you know, uh, like, the Giovanni Bernard basically has the same stats as Fred Jackson. He's just a little bit less tracking. But here's the game over, so I get four packs, one by four scores. I, he, he stuck it through the whole game. i got to give him some credit. So here's the first pack. W what do we get? We need some upgrades. We, we actually probably don't need some upgrades. There'd probably be a lot of people with this team. But Zach Martin, that's I think that's an upgrade, if I remember correctly. My right guard, I think, at this point was Dan Connolly. If we pull another Zach Martin, I would probably flip shit. Or if I win the Super Bowl, I might upgrade the Rising Star to an 87 Zach Martin, because that would be a really nice card. So we got one upgrade. We're doing good. Pack number two. Bring us another upgrade. Come on here. I think for the next game is when I start live commentary doing the pack opening. See the next game or the game after that. I'm not 100% sure. But here's a right tackle. At this point, we're starting Michael Orr. It's basically give or take. Michael Orr pass blocks better and run blocks worse. And I run, like, I usually have more issues running when I'm running to the right, so I put Hairston in at right tackle. It, it, it doesn't really matter. It's not really an upgrade, it's just a lateral move. So here's the third pack. That free safety is decently expensive, too. And we pull Raheem Moore Movers. That's a nice card. I have some safeties now. I have 95 Rashad Jones and 93 Raheem Moore. And Raheem Moore's tall, too. I mean, we got safeties, dude. We have deep protection. We can cover it. Tremont Williams doesn't have to do it all anymore. 
it, it's not all on his back. I really want an elite corner too, by the way. Safeties are great, but corners are better. Safeties don't have to be as playmaker rific. Playmaker rific. It's a word now. So fourth and final pack. Hopefully, we, we've basically gotten three cards we're going to use, which is pretty lucky, considering how far we're into this. So w will we get four? Is the question. And we get Jerry Hughes. That's definitely a usable card. Two elites out of four packs is really nice. I can't believe that actually happened. And I think we actually made coins when I was doing this. The Raheem Moore was like 30k. I was doing this on the Saturday, uh, the Sunday it came out. I record these in like way in advance if you could tell. Because I, I, I might as well pull them while there's a chance to get a 24 hour card. So as you see here, Hairston's the right tackle. Zach Martin's the right guard. So we basically revamped the right side of my own line. And uh, for defense, and like. Zach Martin's a big upgrade, actually. Dave Connolly really sucks. <laughs> he was apparently undrafted. I didn't know that. So Jerry Hughes is the left end, and I moved Robert Ayers to right end. And I have friends. See, it, there's proof. And Raheem Moore's obviously starting. So with that, that's the lineup update. I love all of you, unless you're a Bears fan. Apparently there's a Bears fan that comments on this every time I say that. I, I don't hate you. I just like you less because you're a Bears fan. You like Jay Cutler. I mean, like, seriously, are you okay? Sorry, bro. But have a great day to all of you. I do giveaways every weekend, at least for the upcoming future. I'm going to run out of shit eventually. Once I do, I, I think I have at least a month left in me of giveaways. But with that, I'll have a card in the top right to the playlist of all these pack-and-play games. And, play games. and that, that's it. I love all of you.